Hello world, Shotgun here, back with another video. Now in this video, we're fixing shenanigans of Virtual Machine or Virtual Box. Now, um, it's a really quick and easy fix, um, and I'll show you guys. As always, we'll recreate the error, we'll see what's going on, and um, we'll try to fix it. Now, I've got a Windows machine, it's inaccessible. Okay, yeah, that's fair enough. I don't want to use Windows anyway, so okay. No, I was just kidding. I love Windows. What do you mean? Um, but yeah, so I've got an um, OVF file. So you can have either ISA file or OVF file. Um, you do need the image file uh, for the virtual ma virtual machine that you're trying to run. Because um, we need to re-import it. So um, I've just re-imported it. it it's it's going to take some time. Um, but yeah, sometimes it, you can't even import it because sometimes it won't let you even press the import button um, in that case you'll have to do something there's, there's another button that says the lesser or something or the well, I can't really remember but there's a button that when you click on that one it, let you, it, it lets you import it if anyone knows in the comments what I'm talking about please please comment them down below um, I hadn't had a coffee so I can't really remember just woke up and I was like, oh, hmm. So I was, I was trying to do, I just woke up and I was trying to do the attack framework. Um, as you can see, the attack miter attack framework thingy that I'm doing. And there's an error and I'm like, damn bro, it's just like 9 a.m. I haven't even had a coffee. I don't want to get an error. But yeah. Um, <clears throat> right, so it's all been imported. Now, if I just start. There you go, dude. Yeah, so I've already gone through um, what caused the crash sort of thing. Um, I'll teach you guys how to go through the problem report in another video and see what's what's wrong with you know the application that you're trying to run in another video. But in this one, we're just gonna quickly fix it. Nothing fancy. So it's not working. So what's the point of having this one here? So we'll just remove it. Yeah, I don't need a file. Delete all the files. Get away from here. Now, simple fix. All you gotta do is go to your terminal. If you don't have a terminal over here, you gotta go here and just type terminal. Or you can do command and spacebar and just type terminal. And it'll launch up your terminal. And all you gotta do is type sudo virtual and hit the tab button and it's gonna make it virtual box. Now to type sudo virtual box, Provide them with your password. Nothing fishy here. Now there you go. We don't have any virtual machine because it, it is treating it as a completely different user. That was the only reason I said, "Why well, you might need the ISO or OBF file." Um, now, so we double click that one again, and we'll do the same thing again. Oh shit! Here we go again. Comment if you know that reference. Um, while it is important, I'm just gonna tell you guys a little bit about what I just did here. So sudo virtual box is now if you're a Windows user, you might have remember, you might have done run as an administrator on Windows. That's pretty much the same thing we're doing on Mac. So what it's gonna do is it is going to give a full privilege to virtual box. I know it's scary, but yeah, um, that's the only reason to run the uh, that's the only way to run the virtual box. But yeah, um, so it's gonna give VirtualBox with um, full write access and it's going to run as a super user because the only reason the error occurred was it couldn't access a couple of files that it needed to access a couple of components from the system and there you go um, now we'll start it And there it is, there's my Ubuntu. How good is that? Okay, cool. Um, I'll turn it off right now, because um, I don't need it at the moment. But I'll use my virtual machine later, but yeah, that's all, how you do it. You just, you just do sudo virtual box, run it. The rest is happy days. Anyway, and that's how you fix the virtual box error. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope it fixed your problem. If it didn't, just comment down in the comment section below. I'll try to help you guys um, in any way. 
Now, if you guys have any video idea, just comment it down in the comment section below, um, and I'll try to do a video on that one. Um, if you guys have any problems, just let me know. I'll try to help you guys. Now, if you guys enjoy the video, please do consider subscribing, because it would really help small content creators like me to get to you guys. And if you guys are into you know security, pen testing, this sort of things, then please do subscribe to my channel, because I'll I'll be pretty active and I'll I'll do a video on these sort of stuff, cyber security, fancy topic. Um, but yeah, thanks guys so much for watching. Please like my video. Um, I'll see you guys in another video. Happy pen testing.